Hi, David Rollman here. This is um, this video is, a, is just a jam, really, with this key soul guitar. This is a loner until I get my own key soul that I decided to build. I've been thinking about building my guitar for a long time. Why key soul? Well, because they're great. <laughs> I met them at NAMM and tried their instruments, and uh, the, the neck profile is really what sold me on them, besides the look. And the neck profile is, um, is exactly what I was looking for. I was, I was looking for a tool, guitar tool, <laughs> that was not as thick as my Telecasters, but not as thin as, say, my, my Parker or my Ibanez. I just wanted something kind of in between. And um, this is great. It works great. And because they do custom instruments, I decided to do things that, uh, that you don't find every day. More on that later. That's not that guitar. That is not my guitar. This is a loner because before making such a big decision with, you know, woods and specs and pickups and all that, well, uh, the guys at Kiesel was super nice to let me borrow this, and uh, which is kind of what I'm doing today. I'm just talking to you about that. Now, the neck profile is the one that I want. They have different ones. This is a, a very thin or a thinner. I can't remember how they call it exactly. It's not the thin, it's the th then er, <laughs> if you want to compare this to, uh, say, my Telecaster right here. In the bridge, we have a Greg Howe pickup. I think it has uh, a lot of uh, uh, mids and highs and it sustains really well. It's great for a lot of different things, but it has that uh, organic uh, sound that I really like. It brings out the nuances. It's more of a rock pickup. Well, it's in the bridge too. It's a great pickup. The neck is a uh, Frank Gabali pickup. And it's, it's full of clarity. All the nuances of your playing come out. The neck is a maple neck and the body is alder. It's chambered, which means that there is air in there. It's lighter than uh, a non-chambered guitar, obviously. It also has a Kiesel trim. I've heard a lot of good things about them and I had to try it. And yes, it does stand the test of abuse. It, it stays in tune very well. One thing you should know if you're interested in ordering a Kiesel is that they have a lot of options. They really do custom work and that can be very overwhelming. As a matter of fact, that's why for so many years I didn't go the custom guitar route because honestly, I don't know much at all about wood tones, about what kind of neck I like. All those things, I, they, they just kind of go over my head. I just want to play. I'm glad I didn't stop there because I, after stopping at the Kiesel booth at NAMM, I talked to, to those guys particularly uh, Brandon Irwin. So thank you, Brandon, for watching this video. Brandon helped me out. He helped me basically get an education in a non-threatening way. Just kind of listen to my desires, what I liked, what kind of sounds I liked, what kind of songs, and, and just helped me with the different specs. And um, don't be overwhelmed. Those guys will help you make the right decision. There are a lot of options give them a call. I would definitely give them a call. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy this for a little while until they, they want it back. This is a loner again, but I'll be using this in uh, a bunch of videos coming up until I get my very own. I can't wait to share that with you. Still debating on um, a few things, but I'll keep you updated. Thank you, Kiesel, for making such great instruments and making it easy for players like me to build my custom guitar. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to play a little more. Thanks for watching this. You will see this uh, soon in a future video.